whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. apprehension of criminals, close cooperation is necessary among law enforcement agencies on all levels, state, local, and federal, and in all parts of the nation. Last year, on the 3rd of September, a strange incident that began hundreds of miles away brought the full force of the highway patrol into action. Five minutes. Police officer, throw that gun down here. Turn around. Get your hands up. Upstairs. We gotta get out of here. Just Thank you. 
Hi, Vince. Hi. I thought you weren't coming until this weekend. What's up? Trouble. We'll talk inside. Where are the girls? Ella's in the office. Hello, Mr. Carter. Hi. Where's Martha? Upstairs, sleeping. I had her working all night to get the books finished. Tell her I want to see her. Yes, sir. What's happened, Vince? You're sure you kept your eye on Martha all the time she was doing the books? Yeah, sure, just like you told me to. And the girls haven't left the house? No. Anybody else been around here? Not a soul. What about the local cops? You ever see them? Well, the highway patrol pass a couple times a day up on the highway. I thought we'd be safe from the cops here. When we left Ohio, you said... I know what I said, and it still goes. This is an ideal headquarters for us. Operate in Ohio, keep our books here. It's a perfect setup. Unless we've got a cop planted with us. A cop? Martha? That's what we've got to find out. She's the newest one in the outfit. What's the deal? What happened? The day you and the girls left Ohio, we caught a guy in the basement of our building. Yeah? He had a card on him that said we were moving out here with our books. Who was he? One of our men identified him later. A plain clothes cop. How'd he get the information? There was no way of finding out from him. He's dead. Hello, Martha. Hello, Mr. Carter. How do you like it out here? It's quiet. You did a real nice job on the books. Thank you. Tell you what I wanted. We're going to mail in our tallies from Ohio a couple of times a week. Rather than have them come here, I thought we might be better off running a post office box in town. Fine. You want to handle it? All right. Well, here. Uh, take this. Pay whatever it is. You want to lift into town? Oh, it's such a nice day. I, I think I'd rather walk. That is, if you don't mind. Sure. Go ahead. If she's a cop, you're taking an awful chance, aren't you, Vince? No. It's what they call a calculated risk. We'll give her a few minutes head start. Operator, get me the highway patrol. Highway patrol, Dennis. The man in charge? It would be Mr. Matthews. Hold on. Got one for you. Can you take it? Yeah, give it to me. Matthews. Look, this is going to have to be fast, so please listen carefully. My name is Martha Cole. I'm a policewoman from Ohio. Badge 7154. I've been working undercover with a gambling combine here. In case I'm being watched, I'm going to tell them I'm calling to Dayton, Ohio. Can you get the phone company to cover me on this? Where are you calling from? Okay, I got it. You can pick them up right now while they've still got the evidence. Yes, Mother, I love the new job. No, I can't talk about it now. I'll write you. I'd better hang up. My three minutes are up. Get in the car. Why? We'll talk about it later. Hello? Hello? Looks like a cutoff. Check it. It's gone. That call was from a policewoman from Ohio. Have the closest unit cruise by the phone booth this address. Make it look like a routine run. If anybody checks, have the phone company say she was calling Dayton, Ohio. After that, teletype. Ohio State Police. See what you can find out about her. Right. I'm going to check it myself. Have Darby meet me at the car. Yes, sir.
Come on. I've got a right to know what this is all about. Sure you do. Get in the house. Come on. the idea of the phone call? You know my mother's sick. I just called to see how she was. Well, you told us not to use the phones in the house. Where does she live? Dayton. And you decided to call her? Just like that, huh? That's right. Well, I didn't see any harm in it. An idea, Vince. Suppose I call the long-distance operator and find out if there was a call made to Dayton from that booth. I wish you would. Then maybe you'd both stop acting as though I'd committed some sort of crime. Okay, Vince. No, not from that phone. There may be a stake out at the phone booth. Well, if I didn't call my mother, whom did I call? I don't know. Maybe the cops. Oh, that's absurd. Why would I do a thing like that? If she had, wouldn't they be here by now? Maybe we got to her before she had a chance to tell the cops where we are. Hey, wait a minute. I think I know a way of finding out. Yeah? Charlie, take a ride up and down the turnpike. See if there's any kind of police activity. Okay. I don't much like your accusations, Mr. Carter. As a matter of fact, I'm rather fed up with your whole attitude. Playing it real straight, huh, Martha? Nice and calm. I'll decide what happens to you when Charlie gets back. Phone booth's right up there, right around the bend. Right. Headquarters to 2150. 2150, by. Unit 2111 reports no sign of anybody either in phone booth or vicinity. Street beyond booth is dead end. They grabbed her. They haven't got too much of a head start. Set up roadblocks north and south of the turnpike. Check all cars. Repeat, all cars going through the roadblock. Report all license numbers to me. What have you got from Ohio? Anything? Negative. Waiting for return teletype. Okay, 10-4. 10-4. What's the matter? I just passed another highway patrolman down the road. Something wrong? No, it's a routine check. You live around here? Yeah, not too far. You're looking for somebody, huh? Why do you ask that? Well, what with the activity and everything, I figure maybe there's a criminal loose. Anything you want me to be on the lookout for? No, everything's under control. Okay. Whatever you're after, good luck. Thanks. Pretty curious guy, isn't he? Yeah, but I got his license. So did I. 2150 to headquarters. Headquarters by. Get me a 28 and a 29 on license John, 73965. 10-4. Take a look at this map. If our gals within this radius, we'll find her if we have to cover every foot of this ground. Headquarters to 2150. 2150 by. On that license, John, 73965. Not in file, no make. 10-4? 10-4. I wonder how much time we've got. See who that is. It's Charlie. Turnpike's crawling with a highway patrol. Well, so you did call him, huh? Better get out of here, Vince. Why? What do you think they know? Hard to tell. I couldn't get any information out of them. So why should we run? But coming back, I took the side roads. The patrol stopped me twice. I figured they're closing in. Look, they'd have been here a long time ago if they'd known about us, wouldn't they? What'd you tell them? I don't know what you're talking about. Look, lady, I don't ask questions twice. You want me to take care of you the way we took care of your cop friend? Let go of her or I'll kill you. You'll have to kill her first. Don't shoot, Vince! Don't shoot, Vince! Don't shoot! Hey, Charlie, come here! 
Headquarters to 2150. Headquarters to 2150. 2150, by. Information received from Ohio. Confirmation, policewoman Martha Cole has been working undercover as a bookkeeper for a gambling ring. Her police contact disappeared four days ago, same time as she did. Description of policewoman Cole as follows. Five foot one, 102 pounds, black hair, brown eyes. Cooperation requested. Inform Ohio, full as cooperation. Get it out to all units, the information and the description. How fast can you get me any recent real estate transactions in this area? Get right on it. 10-4? 10-4. Well, if we get a report from a real estate agent, we're in good shape. If not, we got one more chance. What's that? Well, she's a policewoman, and they're awful sharp. She'll get us a clue somewhere. I don't know where she is. Let's split up. I'll go this way. Policewoman Martha Cole continued with all the resources at the command of the highway patrol. But two hours after her phone call, there was still no lead as to her whereabouts. a trace of her. Well, she couldn't have gotten far. I'll take the back end of the woods. You keep looking around here. Are we still going to have to kill her? That's our only way out now. Yeah. Is that a shot? Could be, but it's hard to tell around here. If it was, it came from back there. Let's check it out. Take a look in there. No use calling for help, dear. I cut the wires. Give me that knife. Uh-uh. Do you want another demonstration of judo? You know, I could have been wrong. 
You want to try the other side? No, we could spend our lives looking for her in here. Let's get back and use the car. All right. What? Over there. Oh, that's the guy we saw in the station wagon. Hey, you, get over here. Hey, you, drop that gun. You heard me, you. Come on. Get over here. What's this all about? I've got a permit to carry that gun. What are you doing with it out here? Just getting in a little hunting, officer. You know, of rabbits. Rabbits? With something like this? What's your name? Charlie Blake. Who fired that shot a couple of minutes ago? I didn't hear any shot. Where'd you leave the station wagon? Parked down the road a ways. Look, why the handcuffs? Like I said, I'm just doing a little hunting. Rabbits, huh? I'm hunting, too. Let's take the rabbits in your area. Come on. That's your station wagon? No, mine's a different color. Who's in that house? I don't know. I've never been here before. You stay with him. I'm going in. Right. Probably gets his head blown off. Make a move, copper. She gets it right in the back. Throw your gun down. Come on, throw it down. Policewoman Martha Cole. There's a woman tied up in the room next door and a fellow named Charlie running around loose outside. We got him. How does that feel? It hurts. Hello in there. I'll be right back. Everything okay? Yeah, we found Miss Cole. I've had quite a send a couple of units and a doctor. All right. I gave you a rather bad day, Mr. Matthews. Yeah, you sure did. Hold up. Will you do me a great favor? Go back to Ohio. We got enough trouble of our own right here. I 
hope you'll be with us next week. Until then, remember, no matter how new, the safest device in your car is you. This is Bradley Crawford saying, see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.